Hey everybody, welcome to the first daily of 2013 here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw starting off with the big news. It involves Thierry Henry and that loan deal to Arsenal. Looks like it's not going to happen. Arsene Wenger, the head coach out at Arsenal, saying no deal. We don't need him right now. Is that a good thing though for MLS and New York Red Bulls fans that Thierry Henry's not going on loan? I think this might be the best news for the Red Bulls that they've had, certainly in 2013 that they've had yet. But I think also in this whole offseason is that it has been nixed. If he's not going on loan, he means he's going to get his rest. He's going to get a full preseason with his team, getting ready for, for what will be a big year in his contract, I think, in 2013. All of the expectations are that this is a revamped New York team. This is the year they have to put it all together. Just like when Beckham came and it took him several years to really get up to speed, now it's up for Thierry Henry to do a similar thing. So Thierry Henry sticking around for the offseason. Keep in mind, these New York Red Bulls making a lot of these moves again. Without a head coach, we are hearing some news that uh, both Jesse Marsh and Robin Frazier were in the running for that head coaching position, but they're not going to get the job. So still waiting to see who's going to be the head coach for the New York Red Bulls, but they're going to have Thierry Henry around for the offseason. Well, the Columbus crew in the news on this Wednesday. Two players, Sebastian Miranda and Milovan Morosevic, two Chilean guys that have been rumored to be heading back to University Catolica down in Chile. Now, Morosevic, the crew have shot down those rumors. He's under contract through 2013. But Miranda, it looks like they might lose him, Greg. It looks like they might. He's come out in the press saying he would actually like to go to Universidad Catolica back in Chile. However, we don't know what the deal is from the crew's side yet. They haven't confirmed anything. We don't know if they're in negotiations to re-up Miranda. I think it would be a big loss for them if they don't at least go out and find a replacement. But to lose him, I think he's been one of the quietly underappreciated players in MLS. His steadiness, he plays every game, he rarely makes mistakes. That's the kind of player you need if you're going to compete in this league. And to, as the crew look to get better, this is a team that I think is on the way up. You want to keep that guy who's made up that core for the last couple of years. So that would be a big loss for them. The crew uh, barely missed out on the postseason in the Eastern Conference. They haven't actually made a lot of moves in the offseason. A handful of other teams have, though. The New York Red Bulls, Sporting Kansas City, Portland Timbers to make a few. Silly season is upon us over the next month or so here. Who do you expect to make moves as January unfolds? Well, I think there are a couple teams that come to mind right away. First of all, I think Chivas USA are going to revamp a lot of things there. As Chelis gets more and more involved, and as Teclosa, the new sporting director, gets involved, they're going to start to make some moves to that roster, obviously. I think Colorado will start to make a couple of moves. We've seen a little bit. They already shipped out mm -hmm. Omar Cummings down to Houston. I think that, and they also got rid of Connor Casey in the, the uh, re-entry draft. So I think that Oscar Pereja will start to remake that team the way he wants it, the way he wants them to play. I think it's going to be a, more of a style where you're moving the ball around. This yeah. is the universal sign for moving the ball around on the ground. So I think he'll start to get some more players like that. And I don't think Portland are done. We've yeah. seen some tweets out there from owner Merritt Paulson talking about that he might have some press conferences in January. I think there's going to be some moves up in Portland as well. A number of teams who did not make the postseason in 2012 looking to get a whole lot better mm -hmm. in 2013. Some of the ones that made the postseason looking to improve just a little bit. Let us know what you think. Which team should make the most moves in the offseason? You can post your uh, comments in the box below. We'll be back with another edition of The Daily tomorrow.